Hey guys, so I just finished checking my first two sets and I picked up three coyotes. It's a pretty good start to the morning. I've got uh, I've got two more or another set to check out here and then two more sets to check out uh, northeast of Peace River. So I'll check those uh, later on this morning. But uh, stay tuned, we're gonna head to the next set now and see what we got there. All right. Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a quick video on resetting a snare before my son walks off. He's gonna videotape me. I'm gonna reset this uh, power ramp and then set the snare. Uh, we don't have any coyotes on this uh, bait, but I uh, figured I'd do a quick video on the resetting a power ramp and then putting the uh, my custom made snares in there. So I will turn the phone, uh, turn the camera around here, and you give the phone to my son, and he'll videotape me resetting. Remember guys, when you're reset setting these, make sure your knee is over the power ramp like so, or else you're going to get this in the lift. Put your safety on, like so. So make sure that knee is protecting your face, because you don't want a broken jaw. So I did have this power arm right there, but uh, Coyote ripped it up a little bit and there's not much to anchor to anymore. So I noticed that there's some coyotes here on coming on this trail. So I'm gonna reset this right on this trail. Snares over here, so we'll grab it. So these are my custom snares. Yeah. I've been calling them the uh, the Dixon replacement power ramp snare. Get her untangled here. I don't boil my snares for uh, farmland because there's a lot of uh, equipment here rusting away. Uh, lots of uh, barbed wire and stuff like that. So I don't bother boiling snares in farmland anyway. When I was on the trap line, uh, I did boil them for wolves, but here I don't. So you see I ran the, my support cable through the loop. Ran the support cable through the loop and wrapped it around here and twisted the end up a little bit. Okay. So now I'm gonna set this snare. through the little um, eyelet or whatever. Again. 
Okay, she's ready to go. Just uh, put the snare up here. So now you've got your support wire there. You can basically turn this thing any direction you want to go. Lower it down just a little bit. Make a cable out of the way. There. So, as you can see, it's nice and round. It's about six or eight inches off the ground, the bottom of the loop. And uh, it's kind of got some uh, grass there to hide it a little bit. And we'll uh, put a couple Remember, remember guys, whenever possible, control the approach. So, we won't go around, we're going to go right through. Alright, off to the next ones. Hey guys, so back home. Um, nothing in my last two sets. So, uh, she's a little bit quiet out there. But uh, this is what I've caught in the last few days, anyway. I've got uh, six here. One hanging there, seven. Uh, that's it for unskinned. And then I got my few that I got hanging up here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight there, and two more there, ten, and one more there on the board, it's eleven, plus I have a couple others that are drying yet, so, I don't know, twenty plus yotes for the year so far, it's not huge, but it's good for what I'm doing, I guess, um, Anyway, yeah, that's uh, what's going on so far. So, But it's too cold right now to do any skinning. So I'm waiting for it to warm up a little bit, and then I'll start thawing these guys out and start skinning. And uh, we'll get them on the boards, and we'll do another video. So anyway, check her out. Uh, check out my webpage there on YouTube, or my uh, channel on YouTube there, uh, uh, Primal Fur. Subscribe. Uh, check it out on Facebook. And uh, go on the web and check out our uh, our um, webpage there, Triple D Backcountry Adventures. Like I said earlier in earlier videos, I just got my guiding license, so we'll be doing some guiding hopefully this spring and fall for bears and uh, elk, deer, moose. So that's getting pretty exciting. So, but anyway, check out the website and uh, comment, like, drop me a line, send me a message. I always like to hear new techniques and stuff that I've never done before and uh, give advice when I can. So anyway, guys, we'll see you on the line. Morning, guys. It is 9.18 on December 27th. And it is a bombing minus 32 degrees outside right now. Just... Uh, west of Peace River. I am uh, going to check some uh, traps today, or check all my traps today, and uh, see if I got anything. It's 50-50 uh, in this kind of weather. Uh, the animals do have to eat, but they really don't like to be 
moving around too much in this cold weather. So we're gonna go check some traps and see if we got anything. So we're just heading uh, south west of my place uh, towards uh, uh, Brownville area. I've got the three sets over there. I checked uh, two, uh, the other day and picked up two coyotes. So um, I've got four this week that uh, I need to still skin out. They're all frozen right now, but I'm just waiting for some warmer weather so I can do some skinning. <clears throat> so we'll do that. But uh, right now we're just going to uh, head and check some uh, snares and footholds. So stay tuned.